House Bill 1028, Barb Senators Kraft, Tharp, and Wist. Also, Senators Court and Taken, certain clarification standard required for applications for a court order to require compliance with investigators for deceptive trade practices. Maya. Representative Kraft Arp. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move House Bill 181028. There is no committee report. To the bill. Representative Wist. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, members, you may recall that last year we uh, added uh, statutory language to clarify the Attorney General's subpoena powers under the Colorado Consumer Protection Act. This bill simply extends that subpoena power to the investigative stage uh, in addition to the subpoena powers that presently exist as part of that enforcement process. I ask for your support. Is there any further discussion of House Bill 1028? Seeing none, the question before us is the passage of House Bill 1028. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, no. The ayes have it. House Bill 1028 is passed. Mr. Randall, please read the title of House Bill